Hey guys, as ant season is coming near, I feel that would be appropriate to do this type of video for all new ant keepers, or if you just want to figure out how to start a small colony. If you guys are new to the ant keeping community, go down, check the link below to join Team AR. I have a video up here to tell you guys what that's about. So in many countries around the world, nuptial flights are happening. Nuptial flights are times when a colony elates go and mate with other elates from other colonies of the same species. Then after mating, they go and found an ant colony in a founding chamber. That's where these come in. Y these are test tubes, yes. They are mostly used in science labs and stuff, but ant keepers have used these for a long time and found it so efficient. These test tubes are usually to house fully claustral queens from no workers to around 100 depending on colony size. A test tube setup should look like this. Firstly, you should have a layer of water. Around one third is recommended, then closed off with cotton. Then give space for your ants and close it off with another cotton ball. If you have any question about this setup, then just ask down below. These test tube setups are supposed to like mimic the ant chambers that queen ants build themselves. Now your setup is ready to be used for your ants. Now once you have your queen ant in here, keep her in the dark container in temperatures ranging from 25 degrees celsius to 30 degrees celsius. I personally check up on my ants a little more than once a week. Whenever you check on her, you should make her stress as little as possible by shining a soft light over her and not moving her too much, because vibrations scare them a lot. So um, here's a quick showcase about my queen ants that I've caught this year, and um, to show you guys what an idea on what it should look like um, once you've caught your first queen ants. So um, to start off with, I have one Colobopsis queen, and um, here I have another unidentified uh, one that's identified as a species of Campanotis, but I'm still not 100% sure. Um, I have a one colony of two queen Feidole colony with around 10 workers, um, and uh, 13 queens of Cremogaster, two in each test tube, and finally a colony of slow-growing Campanotis nicobarensis. Uh, also, I have these two, which I believe are another species of Campanotis. No, definitely a Campanotis, but um, these ants are massive, like, they're big. Ant season is going pretty well for me this year. Um, if your ant season is not going pretty well and you live in Hong Kong, then you can go down below to, shop, to my shop where I sell queen ants in Hong Kong. All native, healthy and cheap. So, at zero workers, you should leave your queen at peace. Feeding not necessary. At 10 to 20 workers, you can check on them twice a week. At that point, you can feed them small drops of honey. At 25 to 50 workers, you can feed them small insect parts, like a cricket leg or a small mealworm. And I'm over 50 workers, well, um, by this time, your colony should be ready to move out. Do not move a colony into a big formicarium too early because they prefer tight spaces. If they are already outgrowing their test tube before the 50 worker mark, move them into a formicarium. But buy one that can fit them another few months but doesn't give them too much space to handle. So like, they fill up a complete full quarter of a nest. Our world can be simple, a container should do. Here are a few difficulties faced by ant keepers. A failing ant colony, when the queen dies before any legs have been laid, or when she dies after she has a small colony. When a colony queen dies, it's pretty much the end for that colony, unless you introduce them to a new queen, but that's more advanced. Also. Mold and water shortage is a problem that could be introduced to your colony after a few weeks or months. When there's mold or the water has run out, then immediately move them into a new test tube. Always give your ants time, as said in another video. Well um guys, that's all you guys need to know to raise your small colony. Any questions can be asked down below and will be answered within a few hours. Um, that's everything for this video guys. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. See ya!